Okay, guys, I wanted to do a quick video about these radios. Um, they're on Amazon. They're called Kotri or something like that. Uh, they're about 35 bucks a piece, and they're supposedly IP57 rated for, you know, ingress protection and stuff like that. They're fairly well built, but what's interesting is they're actually tier 2 DMR radios, which are usually much more expensive. And, like, for the prepper scenario... I don't think you necessarily need more expensive um, DMR radios like the ham radios that are like $300 a piece because this will do all the tier 2 functions that you would probably need for like prepping than you would need to, you know, contact some brandmeister group or whatever. Even though these can do that. But uh, let me just quickly do a demo. Uh, again, this was like $35 on Amazon. This was like $16 on Amazon. A very great price, although I did have to make a cable for this one using one of those little UART bridge USB dongles, but those are only like two bucks on Amazon too. But these will use a standard Baofeng pro programming cable and all of the uh, software is available on the internet. Um, so let me just explain some of the features of these. Well, one, they're tier two DMR radios. They do have some kind of encryption. It claims to be AES encryption. Um, I don't have confirmation on that because it's really just an eight character hexadecimal code which I don't know if that's DES or ADP or whatever it doesn't it doesn't really talk to any other encryption that I know of or that of, of, of radios that I have even though it says AES authorization here that's not really the case anyways so but what these can do is all all the the normal tier 2 DMR functions so for example if I wanted to call up one of these radios and send a message you can t 10 tap code your own message or you can use quick messages so I'll select message I'll go to quick text I got messages in here we'll select this one we will send it to and it will bring up your contact list and I'll bring up uh, this is radio 4 so I'll talk to maybe radio 1 I'll select radio 1 and it's sending okay bam radio 1 just got that message alternatively I could just send it to the whole group and then all the radios get the message. So they all just got that text message. And that chirp and those light flashes are a problem in the field. But these do have a vibrating function. I haven't tried it yet. But you can silently receive the alert that you've gotten a text message by this thing vibrating like a cell phone. Also cool. Um, also, like I said, you can see that there's a, a key. There is a, a encryption, AES encryption key in here. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what level of protection that is. It probably could be decrypted pretty easily by the right people, but just these being DMR, you've probably filtered out like 90% of people in the world who can hear what you're saying, and then whatever layer of encryption, you've got 99.999%. So it's not, not a huge deal in, in my eyes. Some people will probably uh, disagree with that, which is fine. Um, some of the stuff that you could do that's pretty cool is, let's say that um, one of your teammates... Uh, lost their radio and uh, maybe the enemy has it you suspect or somebody has it you don't want to hear what's being heard so you can pull up your contacts to the radio that's lost uh, let's pick on number one again so radio one is lost I'm gonna pull up the server settings I can do all kinds of stuff from here I can disable that radio so radio one will be killed now and boom it's killed so you can't actually do anything with this radio um, it's it's completely killed turn it on off it doesn't matter um, it's basically useless until I decide to enable it again. So I can pull up my contact list and I can re-enable it. And for some reason, it will it will restart. But it will be when it restarts, it'll be back to be unkilled. So that radio will be back with us and will be usable. Um, also, you can do a radio check. So if there's a radio that you want to you want to um, hear from, you can pull up this radio check function. Uh, and it will, let me cancel this AS authorization, and it will let you know, hey, this radio is in range, and you can communicate with it uh, if, if you can. If, say, this radio, Radio 1, is, is down, or the guy's down, or he's not answering his radio, you can use this remote monitor function to hear what that radio is saying. And there's no indication from this radio, you can hear that it's transmitting my voice, that this is happening. It's just listening in for a few seconds to see hey what's going on over there why is he not answering us maybe he's in a high noise environment or something like that you can actually monitor what his radio is hearing um without him knowing it and without the radio giving off any indication that that's happening uh which is pretty cool um additionally these things are analog radios so you can just uh, you know 
dial up your normal repeaters. These are repeaters that are in town that I have programmed that are um, analog. Uh, and although these are supposed to be UHF only radios, so on the UHF handband, there's a code plug um, hacker app on, on on the web that will will make these transmit from 100 megahertz to 999 megahertz. I'm sure that might brick your radio if you tried something stupid like that. But these I have tested these to, to transmit on two meters and um, the 1.25 uh, meter band, so they can be wide wide banded to transmit all the hand bands, MERS. GMRS, FRS, whatever, which is pretty cool too. For 35 bucks, I really don't see a downside other than, you know, these I haven't tested these for rugged, ruggedness or something like that. But if you own a Baofeng and you own this, tell me that this is not <laughs> light years better than the Baofeng as far as uh, build quality and audio quality and battery life and stuff like that. I I'm blown away that these are 35 bucks. Probably won't be for long, so if you're interested, I would pick them up as soon as you can. Cheers.